The next two trends I like to do together, electron affinity and electronegativity. They mean slightly different things, but they arise for the same reason, so I like to address them together. For both of them, it's an attraction to electrons. It's just the context in which the electrons are being attracted is slightly different. So in electron affinity, it's a free atom gaining electrons. For example, chlorine in a gaseous form, picking up an electron and becoming a negative ion. What type of atoms tend to form negative ions? The ones on the right-hand side of the periodic table the nonmetals. The electro electronegativity is also atoms pulling on electrons, but it's an atom in a covalent bond. Pulling on electrons. So for example, if I have something like HF, and I have these two things bonded together, fluorine pulls on those electrons and hogs them a little bit. And that's something we'll go over in a lot more detail when we look at bonding. The trend for electro, electron affinity and electronegativity is as increases as we go up and to the right across the periodic table. Generally speaking, we don't talk about the noble gases in this context though, for two reasons. One, they have a full outer shell and are not likely to pick up electrons at all. Second, they generally don't enter into covalent bonds except in really unusual circumstances. So that means the one with the highest electron affinity on the periodic table is fluorine. And the one with the lowest electron affinity on the periodic table is francium. So F has the highest electron affinity, and that makes it most likely to form negative ions. Again, if I ask you to make comparisons between them, you're looking at the location on the periodic table. If we are asked why, you're gonna notice a pattern here in explanations. If they're in the same group, so we're looking at the vertical trend now. Um, if they're in the same group, the atom with fewer shells If this atom is smaller, it can get closer to another atom and therefore pull harder on electrons and seal an electron from somewhere else. So the atom with fewer shells can more easily attract electrons, giving it a higher electron affinity. It has to do with the fact that it's smaller. If they are in the same row, the same period, the reasoning is different. If they're in the same period, the atom with the higher effective nuclear charge pulls harder on electrons giving it a higher electron affinity. We have some sample problems for you to try based on these trends.